I don't understand for the life of me. I don't understand for the life of me why we are telling women that their best and greatest superpower, creating another human from their own body, is less important than working as an associate law clerk. Working 2,100 billable hours checking footnotes is somehow more important than raising the next generation of human beings that you made with your own body and then bringing them up. Radical feminism hasn't just impacted marriage in negative ways, it's also impacted in really severe and negative ways, motherhood and child rearing. The death of marriage wasn't just bad for women and men, it was really, really terrible for children. Disconnecting marriage from children didn't stop kids from being born, it just meant the kids didn't have dads. Single motherhood is the single greatest barrier to intergenerational economic growth in the United States. It is not close. On average, single motherhood damages children in irreparable ways, controlling for socioeconomic factors. The stronger predictor, the strongest predictor of doing prison time is single parenthood. Children from single parent families account for 63% of all youth suicides, 70% of all teenage pregnancies, 71% of all adolescent substance abuse, 90% of homeless and runaway children. So while it may have been fun not to get married to that guy, it's not quite as fun when he's not around to help raise the kid. But this is what the radical feminist movement was proposing. Remember, a woman needs a man like a fish needs a bicycle, unless it turns out that they're little fish. Then you might need another fish around to help take care of things. Single motherhood means that women themselves are trapped in poverty all too often. It's just bad for women. The poorest coterie in the United States of women are single moms. Now, radical feminists have a solution to this. They say, okay, just teach women not to have babies. That'll solve everything. Right? Then you don't have to worry about single motherhood. Just teach them that they don't have to have babies. This is what Simone de Boisvier, author of The Second Sex and existentialist partner of Sartre, actually said, she said, quote, no woman should be authorized to stay at home to raise her children. She says the government should ban people from staying at home to raise their kids. Society should be totally different. Women should not have that choice. We should take away the choice. Why? Because if there is such a choice, too many women will make that choice. So you have radical feminists actually arguing that women should be restricted in their choices because radical feminists want women to act a certain way. I'm not saying that because I'm an actual feminist. I want women to be able to choose what they want to do. Radical feminists are saying, we have to encourage women not to make their own choices. We have to discourage them from making choices we don't like, such as staying home with their kids more often. Except it turns out that women actually kind of like having babies, right? It's, this notion that women don't want to have babies is so bizarre. Again, has anyone ever met a 35-year-old single woman? 35-year-old single women, there's some who choose not to be married. That's fine. The vast majority of women who are 35 and single are not supremely happy about being 35 and single and not having kids. Radical feminists then say that the priority, even if you have kids, is career. So, you should so you, what you should do is you should have a baby. And then you should go work someplace. You should make some money. And then you should pay some other lady to take care of your kid. That's the goal. Right? And that's, that's how it works in California, where I am from. And in California, the, the reason that illegal immigrant labor is so prevalent in suburbia is specifically because of this. You basically hire an illegal immigrant from a different country to come and mother your child while you go to work specifically, like you're making 50 grand a year and you're paying that 50 grand to another person to take care of your kid. Really, this is, this is, this is what's happening. Now, this is not actually what a lot of women want. This is why you, people talk about the gender gap, okay? The reason the gender gap exists in terms of income is because women choose to have babies and spend more time at home. This is the main driver of the gender gap. And that's not a bad thing. I don't understand for the life of me, I don't understand for the life of me why we are telling women that their best and greatest superpower, creating another human from their own body, is less important than working as an associate law clerk. Working 2,100 billable hours checking footnotes is somehow more important than raising the next generation of human beings that you made with your own body and then bringing them up. Now, some people may choose that. Fine, again, for the 1,000th time. That's fine, do what you want. It's a free country. But if you're going to indoctrinate women to believe that happiness comes from working as an accountant but not from spending more time with your children, there's not a single person who on their deathbed said, I wish I had done one more doc review. Not one.